It's Matt from the Nintendo team, your official Samus Groupie, with a review of Metroid Prime Trilogy, what I believe is one of the greatest compilation sets in video game history. Now that's not hyperbole and I'm going to tell you why. This amazing package includes Metroid Prime 1, 2, and 3. And the first two titles support significant gameplay and presentational refinements over the originals, which I'll get to of course. But before I go on, let me just recount the accolades these stellar titles have earned over the course of the last seven years. IGN scored Metroid Prime a 9.8 in 2002, Prime 2 a 9.5 in 2004, and Prime 3 a 9.5 in 2007. These are frankly some of the highest ratings ever given to GameCube and Wii titles, and I should know, because I've been here all along. Now, you get all three of them. It's a good 80 hours of hypnotically engrossing entertainment, by the way, for 49 bucks. There is simply a whole lot to love about this robust compilation. The question is, have you loved it already? The Metroid Prime games embrace the fundamentals of the 2D classics and translate them unscathed to the third dimension. You, of course, play as Nintendo's iconic space bounty hunter, Samus Aran, battle space pirates, explore and retraverse exotic locales in search of suit upgrades, roll in and out of the character's trademark morph ball to reach otherwise unattainable passages, and fight bosses. Everything you might have loved about the 2D titles is preserved in the move to 3D, and developer Retro Studios has, of course, added its own influences to the universe. All three Prime games scored tens in presentation for a reason, which is that Retro knows its stuff. These guys employ some of the best artists in the industry, and they've created an amazing 3D engine that has only improved over the years. The compilation is further complemented by the fact that Nintendo has for once created a set that caters to the desires of the fans. I'm talking about a fantastic metal box complete with a translucent slip and a collector's item art booklet with unique drawings and a full biography of the series. All three games come on a single disc and are sewn together by a new interface that allows you to jump directly into Prime 1, 2, or 3, including the multiplayer modes and echoes, with very small load times. Metroid Prime 1 and 2 arrive with new widescreen modes and Wiimote controls. The first game in the series even boasts full bloom lighting this time around. Really, the only omission from Trilogy is the inclusion of the original Metroid, which was in Prime for GameCube and has been reassigned to the Virtual Console on Wii. Prime 1, 2, and 3 received gameplay scores of 10, 9.5, and 10 respectively. These are all spectacular first-person adventures that should not be missed in my opinion. So if you love the Metroid classics or simply like retroversal adventure games like Zelda, the Prime series should suit you just fine. The original GameCube title and its sequel Echoes come to Trilogy with the same Wii controls featured in Corruption, which allow for far quicker, more precise aiming, and the ability to look around while you run and jump both of which make navigating and platforming, of which there is an abundance, much more intuitive and enjoyable. As I replayed through the games for this review, I found myself taken aback all over again by the stunning production values, tight gameplay controls, and remarkably complex and thoughtful level designs. The locales, from space stations to curvy, vegetation-filled landscapes and high-tech bases, remain as immersive today as they were the first time I trotted through Talon 4 in the original Prime. I gotta be honest, I still like the first game the best, followed closely by Corruption and finally by Echoes, which proved to be the hardest and darkest of the efforts. To me, Echoes is kind of like Majora's Mask of the Metroid series. The only real problem I have with it is that the Dark World in Retro sequel is simply not as compelling as any of the wondrous locations that comprise the backdrops in the other games. And speaking of Echoes, you might actually be pleased to know that the developers actually toned down the difficulty ever so slightly so that if you found yourself struggling against the Boost or Spider Ball Guardians, you will discover them a little more manageable this time around. Trilogy is a weird compilation to review because it encapsulates three of my favorite games of all time, the catch being, of course, that all of these titles have been readily available, some of them for years. Still, if you are like me and adore the series, this is the ultimate collector set. It's a great box, it has a great art booklet, and the price tag is just right. The new widescreen modes and Wii controls are simply icing on an already delicious cake. And if you like adventure games and never got around to the Prime series before, Nintendo has delivered you a gift of holy proportions in Trilogy. Three of the most spectacular adventure games spanning two generations, refined on one disc. As a reviewer, it is simply impossible for me to give this set anything but the highest recommendation. 
especially since all three games remain at the cutting edge, not only for GameCube, but for Wii. Don't forget to check out the full written review at IGN.com.